Hey everyone, I'm Jay Cashman. And I'm Shannon Cake. Police in Port St. Lucie are looking for the culprits who are leaving behind some not so special deliveries in city mailboxes. Covering St. Lucie County with the largest news team on the Treasure Coast, News Channel 5's John Shaman joins us live with this story. John? Good afternoon, Jay. Police here in Port St. Lucie looking for a mailbox bomber. Now, the good news is that nobody has been hurt in these incidents, but someone could have been. This is not what Anna Soder needs right now. Her mailbox blown apart. Soder's got enough problems inside her home. Just about ready to get it on the market. And all of this happened. Her washing machine recently broke down. This was all flooded. I mean, it was ankle deep. <laughs> With her husband gone, Soder's family wants her to move closer to them in Texas. But before she can sell, this 91-year-old dynamo needs to get her walls repainted and her kitchen redone. It was one of the construction workers who told Anna yesterday that her mailbox was laying in the grass. He said, hey, Ann, your house, your mailbox has been exploded. And Anna wasn't alone. Right around the corner, Leah Cavanaugh's mailbox also became a target. You know, I opened it up, I saw it, and I said, maybe just somebody threw a water bottle in there. So I pulled it out, and my fingers started burning. Police told Kavanaugh her rusty mailbox actually helped. The hole in the back prevented too much pressure from developing inside. And what was actually in both bottles, police won't say, except that it was some type of white powder. Cops say it's fortunate no one was hurt. You know, any metal, any particles of the metal that came up in the mailbox could have gotten somebody's eye or damaged her face or her hands. As for Anna Soder, she's not afraid. I don't think anybody has anything against me just to do that. And this tough former Army supply nurse has got some good neighbors. One day after losing her mailbox, she already has a replacement. Soder with a great sense of humor. She also told me, hey, in the old days, people used to just go around with bats knocking down the mailboxes. Now, neighbors of both victims uh, telling them that their dogs were making a lot of noise around 1230 on Tuesday morning and police using that as they try to figure out who may be responsible. Live in Port St. Lucie, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.